Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome, it's Joe Weinrich. Today we're gonna to be talking about the magic wand of ads. See, a lot of people get caught up in the ads and the technology and the nitpicky kind of tactical stuff, but they never stop to take a step back and look at the process as a whole and really kind of get some clarity on their overarching strategy when they're running ads. So here's the magic wand of running e-commerce ads or any ads of any sort, this will help you out, okay? So the key here in the magic wand is relevancy, not technology. You have to make your ads stick. And the, the more relevant you make something to somebody, the more likely you're going to capture their attention and their order. Since the beginning of time, advertising mediums have changed. We've had print advertising in newspapers. We had print advertising in magazines. And then it moved to TV. And then it moved to radio or flipped those two around. And then it moved to more digital advertising. But throughout all of history, the more relevant you made something to somebody, the more it stuck. No matter which technology you chose, no matter which platform you ran it on, didn't matter. You had to make it relevant. And if you put out an ad that's not relevant to anybody in your target audience, you're just going to be paying for clicks that don't matter. It doesn't matter how good the ad is. It doesn't matter how good your offer is. If you don't make it relevant, it won't stick. Nobody will care. You won't capture any attention and you won't capture any orders. And so tech makes segmentation by demographic easy, so then people forget about demographics. I remember when Facebook ads came out and everybody was running demographic type ads, right? And so they would segment down on exactly who they wanted to reach. Moms between 35 and 45 who lived in the Midwest that were making $200,000 a year and that's it, right? That's the only people that they wanted to target. But people forgot about psychographics. And so they thought, okay, well, if I just use the technology and I segment down exactly who I'm targeting, then I'm going to capture all the possible orders from those women, and then that's going to be it, right? But that's not it. Because even if you put out advertising to your perfect audience, if it's not relevant, you're not going to capture as many orders as possible, and you're leaving a ton of money on the table because you're not targeting with psychographics, all right? You speak to people's similarities, not their differences. Okay, you speak to the problems that they have and the things that they're dealing with, not the things that make them different than everybody else, not their demographics, right? Because you can have people in that same audience of those women that you usually target that might be men that are 65 years old, right? And their psychographic similarities are the same, but you don't realize that because you're too focused on the technology and segmenting by demographic. Okay, so here's an example. So we use, for a client, we used a screenshot from the TV show This Is Us to capture attention from their target market, which was moms 35 to 50. So instead of just calling out moms that are 35 to 50, we used a screenshot from the TV show that all of these moms like to watch, and we targeted them just with that. And so they stopped to watch it and look at the ad because they knew this show, right? That's the similarity between all of those women that we were targeting. We told a story in the actual ad itself from the perspective of one of the characters and looped their product into it, right? And it just, it crushed because we weren't targeting just putting the product up there and saying, hey, if you're a mom and you have two kids, check this out. We weren't doing that. We were actually selling by connecting emotionally and then once they clicked and they saw the sales page, they used their intellect to justify that emotional sale they already made in their brain from the ad that they saw from us. And so your magic wand of your advertising isn't the technology, right? It's not the audiences that you can choose to segment. It's not being a Facebook ads ninja. That's not what it's about. The success and the magic wand of advertising comes down to the relevancy of your ads and targeting the psychographic similarities of the people in your market instead of just looking at them as a number on a screen. So make your advertising relevant, make it match exactly who you're trying to target in a psychographic way, what's going through their mind by targeting the problem that they're facing that's going to capture attention from your entire market, target the problem that they're facing, not who they look like on the outside.